Good evening, everybody. Celtics 84, Juice is part 6. Let's play Mega Dimension 2032. Last time I left it off, we just went through, through a few cutscenes and let's just say we started a new dungeon. What's the name of this dungeon? The Coral Station. We're in Area 2, and as you can see, we're about to view an event there. And so, with all further ado, let's just jump into the action and see what's in store for us. Okay, there's no talking. So how is everyone? So today is uh, February 18th, 2016. Didn't really do much. <laughs> yeah, it was just a boring day as usual. Oh yeah, random fun fact, uh, Street Fighter V came out Tuesday. Did anyone get it? I surely didn't. I'll probably get it some other time. But not now though. Cause there's a lot of hype for uh, Street Fighter V. I know Nestle's hype for it. Oh yeah, I know it's BSL finally got his hands on uh, Victory 2. I know he was playing I know he was uh, playing on the uh, on the friend list. Cause you, you, as you may saw on uh, on the game Industrial Hill, LA in the War Part 45, he mentioned he got a he, he got a PS4. The um, the battle the the battlefront of Bondol. Okay, I actually love this music that's playing right now. It's called the uh, Insecure Feeling. And that, I'm gonna say right now, this music right here really gives me the chills. I don't know if you guys hear it, I talk because I know it's the last fit for some reason the audio turns itself down so I keep talking as if I have to fucking uh the automatically produce other audio tracks at low volume, but I got it unchecked. Which is really weird. Me and my me and my god was glitching up again. Oh yeah, that's right. We're, oh yeah, we're probably finding we're probably finding uh Yumio. Cause Yumi Yumio got himself kidnapped. Okay, now we can save. Okay, yeah, so there isn't there is another event after uh the dungeon dispute just now. Oh well. Without further ado, let's uh few his other events. Oh yeah, I'm in the community. <laughs> that's why that's why that's why you saw, that's why you saw that little pop up there. Oh my god, look at those guys. And Gary Pick. An interesting one too. Baby so they're the baby bugs that they were that they were talking about they were talking about in the previous video. I would laugh, I would laugh so hard it said 101 baby bugs. I would have made the 101 Dalmatians reference. But we still didn't find Yumi yo. What up with that? Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, but a few months ago they've been talking about a uh, Super Mario for the Wii U rumor, and and I really hope the facts are true. That way, I, that way I can find out if they're gonna um, if they're gonna make it right this time, unlike Super Mario. I'm gonna say right now, if 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 Nintendo gonna give us a new Super Mario game for the Wii U, please do it right. Please give us the original battle systems, like in the like in Paper Mario 1 and Thousand Year Door. And not like not like that silly two-day stomping on enemies game experience type of uh, RPG does not that that's not an RPG game. Yeah, because Super Mario wasn't really turn based. That's what I was implying. And I hear that uh Paper Mario the what a sticker star? I heard that game was garbage. Besides, I don't even like 3DS anyway, and I still have countless of people who ask me, go go get a 3DS. I'm like, fuck no, I don't want no fucking 3DS. Fuck that. Console all the way. 
Because I'm going to say right now, console games are a lot better than handheld games. Yes, I said it. They are a lot better than handheld games. Not right now, it's time for boss fights. Okay, if I remember correctly, this, um, this, this uni, this enemy has a freaking armor. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Yup. If he has it. Now you may now you may now you may thought that they they, they disabled the uh, the guard break in, from the previous Neptune games. Well, technically, the guard break is in this game. You're looking right at it because the okay the the, the game about to explain it. So yeah, so there's wings or the barrier. All right. Well, yeah, hit the touch button to bring this up. But anyway, yeah, you notice the um the numbers are like yellow. That represents the um the the freaking uh the shield. That's just called the shield. That's the shield's health bar. Cause I I know some of you guys will be uh remember the guard break in the previous Neptunia games. They kind of brought them back in the way, but it's a lot different as you're seeing right now. They don't wait for it. And, uh, and, and here's the thing, though. The, um, the barrier's help bar is invisible. So, so the more times you attack it, you'll, you'll eventually break the shield. Yep. We actually we broke the part. And, and take note, folks, there is a choice for, for um, breaking 100 parts so take note of that folks all right so now so now we broke his armor he should take a lot of damage now and with that he is defeated but don't celebrate yet because if I'm not mistaken there's another boss fight after this that should be the last of them all right they're talking now I think you're right since there aren't any more monsters around, we should be able to look for Umio freely now. Hey, what's up with this Umio guy anyway? He's always calling Uzume with that mega classy voice of his. <laughs> He's probably so handsome. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised, Neptune. Umio, are you okay? Yes, I I'm alright. I apologize. I've caused you such unnecessary trouble. Oh, cut it out, Umio. I'm just glad you're here. I have some friends that want to meet you. Friends? Yeah, so let us meet you. Nepsy, Gearzy, come over here. I have someone I want to introduce you to. Well, come on already. And Gary Pick. And there he is, this my is folks. Umio. Meet Umio. The man fish. Yes, he's half human, half fish. My thoughts are said when I first saw him on the uh on on their on their site. A fish man with a seriously stoic face. <laughs> the gap between his smooth voice and wild appearance is astounding. As long as you're not saying shit like cute gap between your teeth. Oh, God. fucking Jasmine reference. So you are the people Uzume wished to introduce to me. So yeah, so that's Yumiyo, uh, Yuzume's, uh, client. You have saved our life! We are eternally grateful! Despite his fishy appearance, his voice is godly, and his lines are so refined and smooth. See, I told you you'd be surprised, Neptune. Isn't he adorable? Uh, adorable? I wouldn't say that. I mean, I heard of cat dog, but but this is beyond ridiculous. If he was made into a cell phone strap, Uzume totally thinks it would get popular. Oh yeah, this this that's this this a recurring thing from Uzume when she uh when she posing when she posing like that. Neptunior, do you think he's? Look at Uzume's eyes. I see that all the time on on uh, Raza's uh, Facebook picture before this game came out. Since like before this game even came out. Uzume, you're doing it again. Oh. <clears throat> so yeah, 
Yeah, that's gonna be a recurring thing. We'll say that right now. That being said, oh yeah, we're in the fun fact. Something I'd like to share with you guys. Yesterday, I finally got like the true ending of this game. And while I show it off, Wiped out? I'll, I'll try to. If I miss a requirement, I'll, I'll just show the normal ending and then I'll... It looks as if these two young ladies and I'll, 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 I'll play it on New Game Plus for a and then we'll go to the, go to the true ending route. Before it returns, and before you guys be like, why are you gonna like the true ending already? We there. Well, like, like I like I mentioned, I've been playing this I've been playing this with my press file like like super non-stop. It's not even funny. Before it returns, what does that mean? And as of right now, I'm going for all the all the trophies. They must have caught wind of us and returned. I'm mostly getting going for the easy ones first before I go for the bullshit ones. And some of you guys may ask me, how do we uh how do I unlock the true ending? Well, we're go I'm actually going to spend that much later in due time. Cause I won't say right now, there is a lot of shit you gotta do to unlock the true ending. But it's not it's not too hard. Well, it can't be hard, but you, you just gotta be really careful because there's a certain quest that, that is easily missed. Ended up here in the city. And you have to complete that mission before you uh, progress even farther. Yeah, Mad Quintet cliche. It was because of my negligence that this all happened. But we'll we'll get to that much later. There is no time for that now. The opponent is wounded. Uzume, can you finish this? Of course. And I'm gonna end our faded relationship here and now. Oh yeah, that um Oh yeah, that, that freaking dog who you fought in the previous video. He's back! So now we gotta kick his ass once again. I'm at the center of the combo. Oh well. Defense is sweet, right? All right. Oh yeah, only uh, you can make him transform for the time being, and not uh, Neptune and Nep Gear. All right, can I? Let's pick the cross combination. Alright. Oh. Alright, that's the slash wave. Oh! Decent damage. Alright, three more and more to splash. I just love the way I see screams. I find it so sexy. Oh, I thought I was gonna pick up Mirage Dance. That's not yours. Take that, you asshole. Alright, let's finish one with the, with the Mirage Dance, so give it to him, Nut Gear. That's right. Your dad was a doggy. Well, for some reason, his face looked like a Bartavis face. Off of Final Fantasy 13. Well, that's just me. And level up for us. Level 13. Level 13, and I said something about Final Fantasy 13 not too long ago, cliche. And I saw that bouncy. Yippee! We won! An amazing victory! No pun intended. You should have said that to break the fourth water, Neptune. <laughs> but yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> Giant and I can finally duke it out without being bothered by that stupid mutt. Thank you so much, Miss Uzume. We didn't know what we'd do when it appeared. How could we ever thank you all? Hey, it's no big deal. You guys found a share crystal for me after all. Uzume, here. This is what the baby bugs discover. Thanks, everyone. Let us return for now. I'm sure you're all tired. Hey, I'm kind of tired. Hmm. Okay, what's going on? Hmm, suspicious much? Huh, maybe we'll find out sooner or later. Alright, now going back to use Maze's uh, hideout. 
Alright, no random fight. That's alright. Alright, so no talking. But they, they, they do talk a lot in this game. But I'm gonna say right now, not as much as they did in favor of F. Yeah, because most of the time, they like silent after silent after silent. Cause this game is a lot longer than um than the first victory. Yes, and and and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm and I'm including cutscenes by the way. Cause just wait till we get the true ending's cutscene. Oh my god, the 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 cutscene and the true ending is like super fucking long. Yeah, as you thought victory once a uh, true ending cutscene was long enough, but like I said, wait till we get the true ending in this game. Yeah, but yeah, I really do enjoy this game. I could not stop playing this game for the life of me. Neither did Ross 51. So BSL finally got now you can understand why we enjoy this game so much. But we ain't well we ain't say we ain't say too much about it to him because we we don't want to spoil it for the for the guy you know. Wait, what's going on? Um, is she a uh, saw snake? Not saw snake, but a naked snake of a, of a snake eater. He eats snakes. Language. She even curse. Now she did. <laughs> Oh shoot, looks like Nub Gear has, has a thing for using me. Do I did do I did a ship them too? Yeah, it would cute it would it would be it would be cute seeing uh using me and uh Nub Gear together. Bird and Nub Gear invert. Yeah, referring to uh episode six of the anime. Oh god, first I'm gonna be so jealous. <laughs> I can never pronounce that fucking word. Shit, shit, tyke. I keep calling it shit tape by accident. <laughs> well, yeah, she doesn't like him, though. Damn it, I thought it was over. <laughs> I said what to talk about. Ain't nothing much to talk about. <laughs> That's all right. Just just enjoying the dialogue. Oh yeah, uh, Twilight Princess HD comes out in in two weeks. I'm actually hyped about that. Oh yeah, and uh, I heard that they're gonna they're gonna make the uh, the life of mission a lot easier. Cause you guys may remember my let's play a Twilight Princess. Well, our Twilight Princess in general, that um, that there were 16 uh, life vessels you need to collect. Now, there's, now there's gonna be 12 uh, life vessels to collect. They're actually called tears. <laughs> but yeah, remember how remember on Twilight Princess you had to collect 16 tears to um 
to save to save a certain uh, area to get rid of Twilight in that in that uh in the in the Forest Temple area, for example. There's gonna be twelve. There's gonna be uh twelve instead. I'm actually glad they did that. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I remember, I remember way back when I first played Twilight Princess. The moment I started the uh, Life Person mission, I was this close to losing interest in Twilight Princess. I'm like, what the hell is this? But it's a good thing I gave that game a shot. But I'm really, I'm really looking forward to play the uh, the HD version of Twilight Princess. Why, why do a let's play of it? Most likely, but uh, this time I just want 100% the game first before I actually LP it. But yeah, I would most likely do a Let's Play of, uh, of Twilight Princess HD. I <laughs> almost said Wind Waker HD. Come on, I already did a Let's Play of that, like, last year. Actually, two years ago. But yeah, it was actually two years ago. Wow, time is going fast, doesn't it? And she's so sleepy. Oh yeah, uh, also at Twilight Princess HD, it's gonna have an exclusive dungeon if you have the uh, Link Wolf and Bebo. And it's gonna be some, it's gonna be something like the uh, Cave of Ordeals, but the harder version of it. Oh yeah, and, oh yes, and uh, the HD version does have Mirror Mode, but the thing is that you gotta play on Hero Mode to play Mirror Mode. Such as like in the in the Wii version, cause yeah, cause uh, cause in the Wii version it it's mirror it the whole entire gameplay is mirrored from the game from the GameCube version. So technically, don't so technically don't the only way to see Link holding sword is right handed. You have to play on hero mode. So if I'm not mistaken, Hero Mode was first introduced in Skyward Sword. Then, then he brought it back in Winry HD. Now it's gonna be back in Twilight Princess HD, which didn't surprise me. Hell, I'm not even gonna play on Hero Mode. Well, I did play on Hero Mode on Skyward Sword, but uh, the game wasn't even that freaking hard. I just love how I'm rambling about, about, about Zelda games that's discussing still going and going and going. Oh yeah, and, and there's also going to be an exclusive item called the the Ghost Lancer that lets you see Pose during the daytime. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd have an exclusive item and Father Prince HD, just like in Winry HD, that exclusive item called the Swift Sail. That make the boat go to make the boat go a lot faster. But one question, are they gonna are they gonna remaster the music in Father Princess HD? Cause I hope they do, since they did it in uh, Winry HD. Yeah, I hope they do remaster the music like they did in, in Wind Waker HD. Alright, is it over or is there more? Alright, it's next station. Alright. Sorry about that, I didn't make sure my computer's going to screen saver. And yes, I, I can see I can see the bubble text a lot clearer for than the than the first factory. Not so freaking small as you think. Oh yeah, and uh, some of you guys may be asking me, uh, did they get ready the, uh, the nip quiz from the first game, from the first victory? Actually, they didn't, and it's kind of hard to explain as of right now. No, long story short. Um, later on we, later on we, um, we go back to the, to, to your world, to Harvard Dimension, when you highlight your, your, your nation, 
at the bottom there's gonna be a, a word that says public uh, re relevation some shit like that that's just called a PR and you gotta get in and you have to level up to level six and then you unlock the other quiz but we'll, 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 we'll get to that much later if necessary because I'm gonna have to do that anyway if I, want, if I want to go for the true ending Ah, oh, the pudding. Good times, isn't it? Huh, Neptune? You and your pudding. Just like me, me, me and my puppy soda and me and my raisin bar. Huh. <laughs> Or it's like me and my M&M's as, as a kid, but I stopped eating those. I hardly eat M&M's nowadays. It's all about me and those raisin bars. Someone give Neptune a pudding so she can shut the hell up, please. Oh, oh, she's doing it again. That little posing. So if I was like, it's all, it's all scratched. Like, it's like a bold freaking line in the shape of an eyebrow. I'm about to say, don't forget, to, don't forget to invite uh, Neptune if you're planning on, if you're planning on having a pudding party. No, no, no! Don't kill Yumi, yo. I don't even want to fucking imagine that. Oh my god. Wait, what do you say? Something about a mill? Oh. And they're off. Alright, is this over? Alright, finally. So, that's in the cutscene, and, uh, and, uh, and this is in the part, so next time let's play Mega Man Neptunia Victory 2, we're going to fuse some more events in uh, using Maze Hideout in a certain dimension. So until next time, Celtics A42 out.